Hi guys, today we're going to go over the reports tab inside Limble. To do that, we're going to use the Sear Goodman as an example. So to find the reports for that specific Sear Goodman, simply click reports and immediately you'll see a bunch of great information. You can see things like how many completed planned work has occurred, uh, how much completed unplanned work has occurred, what are your percentages, how much time has been spent on this asset, the downtime that's occurred on this asset, and then some maintenance calculations as well, such as uh, mean time to recovery, mean time between failure, how many parts were used, different stuff like that. But one of the most important sections is what is my total cost of ownership for this asset? And really quickly on this particular asset, you can see that invoices are the biggest cause. And basically everything in here is clickable. Say I wanted to look at the unplanned work, I click here. Or in this case, I want to figure out why the invoice costs are so high. I can click on this and immediately see the tasks that had high or had invoices and it's sorted by the cost. So it looks like this quarterly maintenance had a big cost. Why is that? So we'll go ahead and click on this and you can see all the details on that work right away. And sure enough, there's a Home Depot receipt for $261 and there's just a big cost there. I can click on this and immediately be able to see the exact reason why. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of power here to be able to determine how much this asset is costing you and why. Additionally, we have a future estimated cost, so you can kind of try and predict how much it's going to cost you over the next year. And this is based off things uh, set in the PM schedule. What's the estimated time? What's the, the number of suggested parts or estimated parts that will be used? But as you can see, this screen gives you a lot of power to be able to see what's on the reporting side what's happening with the asset and be able to allow you to make those critical business decisions such as should I replace this asset or not? Um, should I increase the amount of preventative maintenance on this asset or not? Um, and that's the reports tab. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us an email at mel at limblecmms.com or you can leave a, a question in the comment below and we'll do our best to a a answer it. Thank you for ta taking the time to watch this tutorial and you have a great day.